and one more thing related to the work of this book is uh, while you take photographs inside even inside the temple yes. so there is no enough light no. you do not use flash right no. and why and how 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 you could deal with that well why first why is that temple a church a mosque synagogue whatever it may be is a house of worship it is designed for somebody of that faith and belief to go in and worship that divine energy yeah. it is not designed for people to go in and take photographs therefore i believe you have no right to disturb people who are either performing the rituals or those who are either participating or worshiping i think it's absolutely wrong y you are not important in that so therefore the photographs should be taken as silently and as invisibly as possible remembering that one is an intruder so that is why i don't use the flash how in those days i you i mean actually guruvayur is very difficult because the lighting is even worse than it is yeah. here i mean it's tube lights and it, it's not uh, beautiful that temple or anything but i used to use fast film and then force develop it and now you know with digital cameras it you yeah, really yeah. don't need yeah. flash now i used to say to people you don't need it now you really don't need it and uh, how then after this guruvayur temple uh, uh, when did you come interested in tayams and all i first saw tayam in i think it was 81 either 81 or 82 mm. and i i it it overwhelmed me mm. but i two things i remember very clearly one was my thought if this is the exterior if this is the exterior what is the interior mm. and i realize now many people stop at the exterior they just see some fantastic makeup fantastic headdresses fantastic costume but they don't think what is the internal yeah. process so even then that was the question what is going on inside but i also knew that it was much too early for me to try and answer those qu get get answers there was no way i could have um, understood any of it and only now 81 what are we now 20 30 years almost 40 years yeah. later now i can ask some of the questions because actually guru i really helped because that gave me a foundation and uh you also uh, conducted some photo exhibitions outside india right ah. regarding this elephants and rituals yeah mo mostly rituals general rituals yeah. i did have one on tayam also mm -hmm. um yeah and how was that experience uh, how the viewers response about these photographs and all you see it's a world they don't see yeah no okay guruayo particularly the people have no awareness of the antiquity and the sacredness i think of somewhere like guruayo if at all they are very familiar nowadays with rajasthan and all that but it it's colorful india yes. which of course is true but here there's something of great antiquity and great weight you know you can feel that it's ancient that it's rolling on you know day in day out they're doing these rituals and i think people were quite surprised the best or the most interesting talk that i gave was in a small village in maine in um east coast coast of america small small village they had a small little library and but quite an enterprising librarian and uh, he said i'd met him before previous years he said when next time you come why don't you give a talk you mm -hmm. know so i gave one on guruayo mm -hmm. the interesting thing was normally he said you'll get if we're lucky we'll get 20 25 people as a small place actually 70 people came 
70 when they're expecting 20. They, people were sitting and standing and pushing and shoving. And not one of them had even been to India. But they, something touched them. Something touched them because they said we could feel that this was something really with a great culture and tradition. So you, t you, touch, you can touch people. Uh, being invisible, being what to say silently, you are also uh, what to say making visible the India's culture to the others. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure about that. But uh, you see, you can only do what you do as honestly as possible. I have certain rules for myself. One is the flash business. One is that you should not try to take the photograph if somebody is you you have to be prepared not to take the photograph if it is going to intrude on somebody i i, I think that's a form of rape otherwise yeah. and if it, it, you don't take a photograph somebody gives it to you yeah. they allow you to take them so this phrase about taking photographs i think doesn't sometimes in different subjects it you know but doesn't matter I, I suppose football you can take it you know yeah. uh, but I really think that when it's something as near to people's hearts and souls you have to respect you have to respect what they are doing and be prepared to hang back I mean I saw something the other day I just come back from Malabar where somebody was uh, praying before a ritual and I started to lift the camera and I thought, no, no, it's too personal. The joke is, the person concerned would not have minded. And anyway, he, was in, had, he had gone into that world. Yeah. So he would have had no problem with it. And he wouldn't have said afterwards, what, would, you know, what are you doing? Not at all. But I felt that there was a line that I did not wish to cross. Being a woman, uh, you have lived this much years in Kerala and you have been traveling to here from there yes. like that. So uh, many more incidents are there in Kerala against women. Oh. So how you think uh, we can empower the women to meet all these things? Well, it's an interesting question and the answer is I don't really know. But there is a way of treading down a path, yeah. I think, where, I mean, women can often get what they want whilst appearing not to be taking it. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, women have very much changed in, uh, uh, you know, there are young girls here that know exactly what they're doing and uh, quite determined about it. I think it's, everybody has to respect the other. I mean, women have to respect men just as much as men have to respect women. And I mean, up in Malabar, it's strange really because that's more traditional up there in a way than here. I mean, when every time I come from Malabar, I think what an urban society this is. You know, it's all urban. Yeah. But actually, of course, it's not. If you then go to, I don't know, Chennai, this is also somewhat rural. Malabar is really in another place mm -hmm. and it is a lot of it is to do with how you your body language of course let's face it I'm not 16 so I don't have any problems with men <laughs> like that <laughs> but it's still the same and because of Thayim goes often through the night mm -hmm. yeah and you know they may begin and end and then that man will go to sleep and somebody else no i can't go to sleep because they keep going but in the aniara you know where they make up and everything they allow me not always because sometimes there's not space or there's other reasons uh, in that particular shrine where women can't enter the aniara but in most of them they allow me to go in there they allow me to keep my camera bag there and if there's something like an hour I can sleep now I asked somebody somebody the other day about this I said actually I suppose this is a pretty shocking way for a woman to behave and he, he said 
well, it's not, you won't normally find women doing it. He said, but the Tayyam artists are so happy that you feel comfortable and they will protect me, I know that, that they're very happy that I will do it. He said, of course, other people are not so, they just think it's very strange. They don't think it's wrong, they just think it's strange. And if you, const if you behave yourself in, by the um, terms of local society, uh, the way you dress, I don't mean you have to work, dress in a Satamundo all the time, but you're just respectful of their traditions. You can do almost anything, frankly. And uh, one more thing about this women importance, <laughs> because in Tayyam, the performers, uh, uh, the women are not at all permitted to perform Tayyam. No. Only one. Yeah. There is one, but in uh, the Malian Tayyams, uh, the women usually go with the men to the festival place. And it is said that if they also sing the songs, they're more powerful. So I agree. In the grand scheme of things, it's a small involvement. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And uh, there's one thing very much. Hmm. You know, a male photographer, if he comes, say, to photograph, let's say, Thayya, hmm. for the sake of arguments, that he will very easily have some kind of rapport hmm. with the Thayyam people. Hmm. They can have a beer together, whatever. Yeah. So he can take photographs and, hmm. you know. But he cannot get near the women. A, ma a female photographer like myself will endure a terrible time of like that because nobody quite knows what the game is. Yeah. But and the men are wary, very wary, and the women are looking at you if they're there at all. But if you can just let that time pass, eventually. You, you get near to the women. If the women like you, that's it. Because, and then everybody's happy. Yeah. So that it is worse for a woman photographer at the beginning, much worse. Mm. But at the same time, if she can behave herself during that time and you know, perform some kind of uh, dialogue between them, uh, she will get much more in the end because she has access to their personal private lives. You are also very much fond of these elephants, no? Yes. So using elephants in festivals. Yes. What is your opinion about it? Well, it's everybody, including me, likes to see them in festivals. Yeah. But after that, I think the way they're treated now with those heavy chains, scars on the legs, not enough water walked from here, there to everywhere, is just terrible. I mean, you know, an animal is a creature created by God as much as a frog or a man. You have to respect it, to treat it well. And how you remember Guru Ayur Kesavan? Your first photograph was that, no? First one, yes. Well, he was magnificent. I mean, I can still remember taking that photograph. And you knew, you knew there was some quality about him which was not just that he was a big elephant, it was something else. I was very lucky. Yes, no, he was, I mean, he was in must, of course, but uh, he, there was some extra quality about him that you don't, or appeared to me anyway, I, would, I didn't know anything about elephants. So, before we wind up, uh, what do you want to say to our viewers? <laughs> It's very difficult. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you for giving me the chance to do my work here and for understanding. Nihao, uh, thank you very much, ma'am, sharing your precious moments with us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Idiom Urubada Rubada Duram Namada Nadinde, Sam Skarega Sambatine, Logatin Perija Pertikunda, Urubada Kiring and Chian Sathi Kate, Adene Guruai Repen, Elavita and Ugrahangal Nalgate. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you.